yes, maybe can you introduce yourself? Yes, first? I can. It'd be great with my <laughs> French English. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm Jeff Seamster, and I'm the uh, audio director at Criterion Games. So um, anything that you hear when you're in there, that's my responsibility. Okay. So. So uh, you were saying first, first Star Wars VR. Yes, first Star Wars VR, first step into the VR world. And it's definitely the first step into the VR world for EA. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the first VR thing that no. has been related to Star Wars. Though. Yes, and uh, what can we expect uh, in the future, like maybe other missions or something like this? Do you have projects with uh, virtual reality? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, VR is something that we've actually been working on for quite some time. We have a lot of projects that we have you know, concepts and uh, prototypes that we've put together for VR, and one of those turned into what would end up being our, our X-Wing mission. We saw a good fit there between Criterion and DICE to deliver you know, this great X-Wing piloting experience. Inevitably, as soon as we started playing this, our minds start racing again yes, about what I can guess. we do next, and anybody who plays it is what can you do next. Uh, the truth is, future's open for just about anything. Of course, there are many more things VR-wise that we want to do. Right now, the main focus is doing the best experience we can in this mm -hmm. uh, until it's done. And where we go next? Anybody's guess? Don't know yet. Yes. <laughs> I know it's a very coy answer. But <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe a question you can answer, I don't know. Yeah. So, one step into the VR world. And could you expect the same for, with the Battlefront game, the, the main game? Is it possible to see VR uh, for the main game? I think what we're going to run into for the next episode. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> can wait for this part. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to drink a little bit of water. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. So. Um, what we, where Battlefront is headed VR-wise, again, we, we can see a lot of potential for that to happen. What I don't think you're going to see is us putting anything into VR just for the sake of it being in VR. If we see a good match between a player experience that we want to deliver and virtual reality, then that's probably something that we'd, we'd, go, we'd go after more. So it's not as though we're going to say, I mean, don't. Again, the future can hold anything, but I don't think anybody's going to say, hey, let's just do Battlefront in VR, because there are a lot of considerations when we build out something in VR. We can't just treat the camera in, a, in, in the same way that we do with, with any experience. And we'd rather not just, hey, say, throw on a VR helmet and play some more of what you've already done. We would like to, I'd say the thing that we would focus on is doing things that are great fits for VR. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, other question, uh, is there a difference uh, with the new version, the new version of the PS4? Uh, can you expect better graphics or things like this? That is something that I can't possibly comment on. Ah. I think you would have to get that answer directly from Sony if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, you were working on the sound system uh, yes. on the game. Yes. Uh, is there many points you, you will talk talk about like uh, how do you do to, to have a 3D 3D sound uh, to do work uh, with specific old, specific old things for the game? Yeah, so VR has opened, VR opens tons of new opportunities for audio and that means that rather than saying we have stereo or 5.1 surround or 7.1 surround, we have the entire 360, we have a sphere of sound mm -hmm. just to, to play with now. Uh, and that means we can we can have sounds that are up and down yes. and behind. You know, recap, you, yes. you need to to hear what's and this. yes, the, we we have to deliver something that sounds natural, especially in such an immersive environment. Uh, the player's ear is gets a lot more keen as to what's happening when you're when you're inside of a VR experience. So it's on us to say if you hear, for example, a Tie Fighter coming high and right behind you. <laughs> We need, it, we need it to sound like that. Now that's just positional data, that's something to give the player a lot of information and make it feel right. We also have a lot of opportunities to deliver even more immersion, so rather than just saying, for example, in the X-Wing, we're not just going to play back an X-Wing sound, we're going to have 
little bits of the cockpit inside the X-wing that are giving you sound. So you know, sound is all around you. The the world has so many little sounds that you listen to and take for granted, but you really notice it when you get into VR. So we're going to work a lot with positioning the player inside of that sound sphere. Okay. Uh, maybe a last question for you. What would you like to see with virtual reality in next games? Like other vehicles, other franchise, uh, which one would be your choice for virtual reality? It's which one would be my question. choice? If I had to do it uh, with another vehicle, what would it be? There are so many vehicles in Star there, Wars. There are so games. many vehicles in Star Wars, and I want to fly them all. <laughs> so, not that I'm guaranteeing or saying anything with this one, but if I if there's something that I would love to do in virtual reality, I would love to get on a speeder bike. Yes. In virtual reality, and you know, hunker nice. down on it, fly through, you know, check over your shoulder. People, you'd probably get sick and <laughs> immediately. One you won't be on your, sho your shoulder. Yeah, if you if you return with the whole world, but but you know what? I think it could be doable. Yes, I think a lot nice. of things could be doable. Let's make them all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Uh, do we have any question left? A new license? Ah, and would, you, would you like to see other license uh, with VR? Uh, not Star Wars, but maybe other one, like uh, I don't know. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones VR sounds amazing. Yes, of course I would love to see that. Uh, there are so many different franchises that I can see being wonderful fits for VR. Just little bits of, yeah, pick my favorite movies and the things and the, and the places that I want to be. Jurassic Park, I would love ah, to see Jurassic myself Park, getting yes. there. Indiana Jones, I'd love to see myself in there. Harry Potter, I'd love to see myself in there. So, honestly, the possibilities are endless there. And again, I think it's important that You don't just grab a grab a movie license. You don't just say let's do, let's do Jurassic Park and and that will instantly be fun. It's a matter of what's the thing that's going to fit best for VR. What character? What what you know? How do I want to feel inside of it? Mm -hmm. And I think VR has the opportunity to deliver on all those cinematic spectacles and even more. Okay, different experience. Mm. Okay, okay. So thank you. You're quite interview. welcome. Yeah, okay. glad you guys nice. got to play it. Yes, a pleasure. Yeah.